Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to make an easy, long flap journaling fold out. But first, let's have our shout out to Carolyn D., X Cajun Grandma, Black Coffee, Mary Scraps, Kelly, My Paper Journey, Julie, Paula, and Cindy. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like I said, you guys, this is simple, but oh my goodness, I love it. It would be a great mass make project. So what you want to do is get yourself some cardstock. Now I have coffee dyed the back of my cardstock here, and this is ten and a half inches long by four inches wide. And what you want to do is round the corners, which I've done. I've actually already inked it both this side and this side. And then I have sewn around the edge. You know I love to sew paper. Love it, love it, love it. So what you'll want to do next is you'll want to fold this side up, or you could do this side. It doesn't matter which side you start with. But I'm going to start with this one, and we're going to fold this up four inches. Okay, increase it. And then you're going to take the opposite side, and you're going to fold it up two inches. So now we're going to look like this, but we don't want it this way. We're going to need to put it this way. All right. So that's all there is to making this project. Now we need to decorate it and get a closure on it. So let's begin. I have a few things in my dish. I've got some um, script. I've got a label, which is cardstock label. I've got a little picture out of a clip art book, and I just ripped around the image and inked it. I have a two-dimensional um, little flower that I purchased, I think it was at the Dollar Tree, it came in a pack. Can you see? It's got a, you know, an extra piece. It's got a little foam on it, I think. I picked the foam off the back. I have a little tiny blue bow that I made. I have some vintage lace right here. I have a flat back gold bead and I have a itty bitty tiny butterfly. I think that butterfly is from my porch prints. I think. All right. So let's begin. Let's first put on our closure. So our little um, card stock. It's printed on cardstock. This is a Tracy Fox label right here. And I'm just going to fold it in half. And then I will need to ink it. Oh, that's heavy ink right there. Okay, I've got that inked up. Now what I want to do is I'm going to place it folded at the bottom. So this is the part where we have the smallest fold, our two inch fold. We're going to place it in the middle of that. I'm going to put glue on the back totally, but on this part of the fold, I'm going to highlight this just so you can see what I'm talking about a little bit better. Okay. On this side of the fold of the label, or with our label, we're going to add glue. I'm only going to go maybe a third up with glue from this fold right here. I need about this much, about this much, not to have any glue on it. About, about this much. We'll just, we'll just do it like this. I think that would help. Well, maybe not that. Okay, that was a little crazy right there. Let's do it. Um, I'm thinking how this will work. How about about this much? That will help. So I'm going to put glue from here to that mark. I'm not going to put any glue up above that mark, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Now I've got my Tombow glue here. You can use any glue that you choose. And I'm just going to add my glue right on here, just like that. Now I'm going to place this in the middle, right here like that. And I'm going to fold it up. And press it down. All right, so 
because we did not add glue to this portion of the label, we're going to be able to tuck our little flap down into underneath that label. And it's going to hold our little piece of ephemera intact. Super cool, right? And you will still be able to open it up for journaling purposes. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this dries open like that because you're going to journal on it. So you have all this big space to do all of your journaling on. I just love that. So much space to journal on. All right, so now let's finish decorating. I have this script right here. Mm, maybe this lace first. Let's see about adding maybe a little bit of lace right here. I'm kind of liking that. I'm also liking it right here on the bottom. Now, I couldn't put it all the way across because we're sticking our flap underneath that label. So let's go ahead. I kind of like that, but this is kind of crooked and it's bothering me just a little bit. So I'm just going to even it out just a little bit more. And I do think that's pretty cute right there. All right, let's go ahead and add that right there. So I'm just going to add my glue. And I, that's hot glue. And I'm using it because it's fast, it's quick, it's easy, and it allows me to keep journaling on or decorating in this video and things won't get too sticky and move around on me. But I do like my glue gun. All right, so there's just a little bit of something, something going on there. Next, let's go ahead and let's put this there. So I want to add this about right. Hmm, I could stick that underneath there. That's not going to bother it. How about that? Because I think this paper is so pretty and somebody's going to say, where did you get that paper? Something in blue? Uh, I'm not sure, you guys. I, I printed it last night and the computer does not tell me much about what it is. Dam I want to say Damascus, but that could be wrong. But that's what I want to say. I'm very sorry that I'm not able to really help you. Actually, I think I'm going to bring it all the way around and telling you exactly where I got it. My phone crashed at one point, erased all of my Etsy orders from when I ordered most of my printables. So I'm kind of in the dark about it. Now, let's see. Let's place this here. I was thinking this would be so sweet right here like that. So I'm going to get my glue again and I'm just going to add this glue onto the back of where I've just torn out my picture and then inked around the edges. Now I do have an example. It's totally different color. Um, it still has a torn image but it's a completely different look because it's a completely different color. I just have one because I spent my evening cleaning my craft room. Oh my goodness, you guys, you know how it gets. Ooh, it exploded in here. I had to get it clean because it was affecting me not being able to, um, to do, you know, to do things. So, so I took time and I did that. I should have raised that up just a little bit more. I really didn't want it. I don't think I can now. I think it's really glued on there. Yeah, it's glued on there. We're on there good. Okay. The reason is because this, this uh, closure right here, I didn't really want to cover up that much of the basket, but so be it. We're going to have to do that. So I'm just going to add my glue and we're going to just go ahead and we're going to get this done. I'll turn it like this. There we go. All right, so now we look like this. Oh, I love it. I just love it. I am going to add this butterfly, and I think I want it on this side as opposed to this side. For some reason, to me, it makes this side too heavy. So I think if I put it on this side, it because it's a lighter feeling, it kind of carries my eye 
a little bit across all of it instead of just all on one side. So I'm going to add my butterfly over here at an angle, like he's flying away from the flowers. I have my gold flatback pearl, and I chose gold because of this gold center of this flower, and then there is a gold center of the flower in the basket. So I'm just going to add it right there. I think that adds a lot. And I have a little bow, and I just, I don't know, I just thought maybe a little bow would be very sweet. I'm not sure where. I just kind of thought maybe a bow would be cute. Let's see. I could add it just right down here at the bottom. I'm still thinking here. I don't know, I kind of like it down here at this bottom, and I can't tell you why I like it down there, but I'm going to just pop it over here, just like that. And I'm just going to trim off the edges. I don't want long edges. just wanted a little accent on there. So there we have decorated it. And then you just open it up like this. And you can journal on this whole large sheet. And then you can easily just tuck it right back in. You could stick it in a belly band. You could put it in a pocket. You could clip it to a page. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Now here's the other one that I made. And like I said, it's totally different. It has a different feel to it and everything. This is light and airy, and this is kind of luxurious in a strange little way. I've got some little rhinestones here. I've got my label closure. I have my larger ribbon that kind of goes around my image of my little bunny. I have torn around the edge. I inked it. I added some flat black lace underneath it, kind of in a wavy style, as the bow is kind of wavy. And then I added two more little gems right up there, so it kind of carries your eye towards the other side. And it opens the exact same way, and you can journal on it, and then you can close it back up. These are easy, quick, and simple. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.